and I'm live. Good morning. Oh. All right, I'm just bringing everything up on my laptop so we can see what we're doing this morning. Okay. Open up, open sesame. Is anybody watching? Yes, there's a couple of people here. How's my lighting? Pretty good. Okay, welcome back everyone. I uh, Welcome to day two of the uh, Great International Craft Show. I thought that today I would spend a bit of time playing with stencils and stencils and stamps, which is my favourite thing to do, as you all know. Good morning, Sonia. So I'm going to be having a bit of a play with different blending, different blending options today with, so lots of different blending tools with a few different inks and having a bit of a bit of a play with a few stencils on some tags. So um, for those of you who have just tuned in, welcome, welcome. Um, today on Natalie May Scrapbooking, nataliemay.com.au, we have got 15% off of stamps, dies and stencils, and that will be automatically uh, reduced or calculated at the checkout. And then we've got 15% off of Christmas things for the next three days because, you know, apparently Christmas is coming. Like, who knew? That's a thing, right? Um, and I, so we thought we'd celebrate that and, um, yeah, enjoy the, en enjoy giving you some little freebie classes and showing you some techniques and reminding you of things that you perhaps already know. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I have got quite a few things just off camera here that I'm going to be playing with. So I've got a pile of stencils. I've got numerous different inks. So I've got the Hero Arts Neons that I'm going to have a play with, which I have in stock, which are uh, super fun. I've got a big pile of Distress Oxides as well. I have a pile of Altenew little inks. I have the... A set of the brand new um, Catherine Paula mini inks. I have those here as well. Uh, and I've got a few different surfaces as well that we're going to do some blending on. All right. So I'm just going to slide those off camera. Um, I don't have my light on because I've got some beautiful light coming in through my window today. So... Um, hopefully we don't get any splatter, splatter. What am I looking for? Not splatter, any flicker, 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 flicker. Um, okay. So the really cool thing is, is there's lots of different blending tools on the market, blending tools, such as the traditional, uh, Ranger daubers with the, uh, removable pads on them. They are available. I like to use these mostly for paint application. Um, I do love that these will wash out and come pretty clean. Um, mine copper fair hammering, as you could probably imagine. So that is one option for blending. The most recent option for blending is the domed sponges from Ranger. So they are also available. And Nuvo also do them. Um, so they are just, again, a Velcro that goes straight onto here and they do wash up fairly well. As you can see, I use them. These ones I've used with black gesso, uh, so they are there. The other option is the little Altenew blending brushes. I used these yesterday and I'm gonna be having a bit of a play with these again. I do love these, these are pretty cute. Um, and they, I, can, I like the way that I can hold them in my hand. They hold up quite nicely. So um, good morning to everybody just tuning in. So that's another way, um, that's another option for your blending. I also have here some of these handheld blending tools. These are, I've got a couple of different um, brands. There's Paper Rose and Uniquely Creative, both Australian brands. And um, then I also have the Couture Creations set 
here. So I'll be using these as well. Um, this is the Couture Creations Blending Brush Set with a display stand. So this comes with a, a stand ready to go. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of different size brushes. Um, they feel like puppy dog's ears. I do love that. I just want to touch it on my face, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like that these ones have got these tiny little, oh, I know what else I've got for blending. Um, but yeah, so they've got lots of these little skinny ones for getting in your little nooks and crannies. So that's an option as well. And I've just remembered, I've also got from Altenew, There's a set of three of these guys, and I've lost the third one. Oh, no, here it is. These are excellent as well. So these are the Altenew Detail Blending Brush, um, and these wash up really well. So they are super cute little, and they all have their own purposes. So, you know, naturally, I have all the things because that's what we do. Um, so I am going to pop that aside. So that's an excellent value for money to get 10 blending brushes in it for, I think they're, I want to say $52. Um, so, oh, someone's fan belt needs a bit of attention out there. Crikey. Um, so I'm just going to pop that aside. All right, let's do this. Let's talk about stencils. There are lots and lots of different stencils on the market. Most of you know that I work for the American company called Stencil Girl. They are my number one favorite stencils after mine, of course. And shoo! Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Um, so my stencils, let's start with those. So I have a range of probably, I don't know how many stencils are in my collection now, Louise. Good morning, Isabel. <laughs> Yes, there is a time difference. I do say on, Isabel's just commented saying, I've just worked out the time difference, sorry. Look, I do put it as the SA time because uh, I just continue to get through my day and then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, crikey, let's look at my watch. And for me to go live, if I don't say that it's in South Australian time, then I'm sure you're still gonna be waiting for me to go live somewhere. Um, so yes, my stencils. So I've got a couple here. I've got quite a few in my collection now. I get these, uh, I design these myself. Some of them are hand drawn. Some of them are designed on a computer, but they are all designed by me. And I have them produced and manufactured here in Adelaide. And I absolutely, I, I love playing with them. I think they're really, they're great and I really love that I can do my own designs now. They do have a great price point as well. They've got a really lovely low price point and, um, and they're on special as well, which is fantastic. So the Natalie May stencils are usually $11.50, um, but at the moment, because they are 15% off, it takes it down to $9.78. Bargain. So I've got some paper towel handy. All right, so what are we gonna use? The reason I've got paper towel handy is I'm picking up a blending brush that is very possibly dirty and I'm just making sure beforehand that I wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do here, layer it over the top of my tag. This is a number eight tag. They're a white tag. You can buy them in a pack of 20 or 25. Can't remember. And I'm 20, pack of 20, Louise tells me. And I'm going to use Salvage Patina and Prize Ribbon Distress Oxides. So I'm all, I like to start with my lightest colour first. And I'm using the blending tool here. And I'm just going to hold it in place with my hand and work in a round circular motion. I'm not using a whole lot of pressure. I'm just tapping the ink pad and then getting it on like so. So this is a technique that works amazing um, for card fronts, as well as you can use it in your art journal, you can use it on scrapbook pages, um, you can use it in lots and lots of different ways. So now I'm just going to wipe that off there and I'm going to use Prize Ribbon, which is the latest colour from Mr Timmy in the Distress Oxides. What I do like about the Distress Oxides is that they allow me to layer 
And I like that um, I can I can build my colour so I can give it some depth as well. And I can layer over the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push that over those stars, holding it in place still. And I'm going to go back to my salvage patina. Oops and just layer like that. Super simple. So this is a really fun, easy technique that most of you know. And look at that, how effective is that? So you could do that on a scrapbook page and that will give a really great effect straight up on, a, on the background of a scrapbook page, the background of an art journal or, or a tag, or a card front, just like this. So this is the starred stencil by Natalie May scrapbooking. Now, here's the other thing. I've got all of this ink sitting here on my um, on my stencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a bit clever and I'm going to transfer that to a tag just by giving it a light mist with water to activate the ink. And I'm just doing that off camera so my work surface doesn't get saturated. Put a tag down. and push it on top. And then I'm just gonna fold over my paper towel, give it some pressure, so I'm not wasting any ink. I'm using uh, my stencil in a couple of different ways. So when I peel that up, I'm left with this really awesome watercolor sort of style background, which looks great. And then I'm gonna put that there. Um, stencils come clean really easy with a piece of paper towel or a baby wipe. Um, if you're using acrylic paint with your stencils, it looks good while you're doing it. Some people like to wash them after. Yeah, I'm too lazy to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna use my pointy branches stencil. So as you can see, this is a really quite a, a rough organic stencil. Um, and this is hand drawn by me. So I'm gonna use the big leaf and this time, Instead of using the uh, instead of using the big brush, I'm going to use this little guy here because I want to make sure that I'm only going to get this leaf. I don't want to get any accidental overflow into this area here. Um, what I do need is some washi tape. Uh, Lou, could you grab me a roll of washi tape? I don't have any in this container. I think there's some in the top drawer in my office. I need to bring some home from home. I have a stash sitting at home. What am I gonna use this time? I might pull out some alternate inks this time and I'm gonna do like a layered. Is there a roll there? I've got three packets oh, of this one open. Of course I've got three packets of that one open. That's because it's my favorite. See, it even hurts me to use it on this. So what I'm gonna do with washi tape, because washi tape is a low tack tape I'm just going to tack it down so I'm getting a little bit of my tag tacked down and my stencil so I'm going to have less movement so I'm going to use the alternate blending brush here uh, with these ones so what did I have um, let's test my colors first oh that one's a dark brown let's use these three so I'm going to start with my lightest color and I'm going to go through the middle with my, my lightest gray. And because you can see this one is a little, it's got these little gaps in it here, which are a little bit, um, I'll say flimsy. But the idea is, is when you're using a blending tool like this, you will be able to build up the color. So I can work on each individual little leaf now and get a really nice graduated color with this very directional blending tool. So the blending tools that I showed you earlier, the ones from Couture Creations, the set of 10, they would be also ideal for this technique because you get a quite a few different brushes in it and you could go from a wide brush down to a, uh, a, a more detailed, thinner brush if you needed to but they would be ideal for this purpose. 
and I possibly, I possibly should have washed it first because there's a little bit of blue going on here as well. That's because I didn't check it first, but you know, that's okay, we'll commit to it. And then I'm gonna put this, this other color on the end. So you could use anything at all, but this is where these detailed blending brushes work fantastic with stencils. Oh, and Louise has just said we've sold out of them already. Well, somebody snapped them up, these little guys. Somebody snapped them up already this weekend? Okay, well, that is great. I can order those in anyway. Um, so you could use the Couture Creations ones from that I showed you earlier if you want that instant, instant gratification. I reckon I've got my, I've got some coming in on my next alternate order. I have to have a bit of a look. So now that I've done that, I'm just cleaning it off on my paper towel. Uh, that's the darker one. Evening grey. I'm just going to lightly go back in here and give it a little bit of more of a blend just to get that overall finish that I want. So when I peel my stencil back, it looks flawless. Okay, this morning frost is a really nice light colour. And it's the first color. So I like to go back when I've got this just to get a, like with I've got light colors to, to go over the top and blend that back down. Lid on, lid on, lid, lid on. And there we go. So a couple of different colors so not always using brights, but I really do love this lovely earthy sort of background. So that's going to work quite well. Now, can I spray? I don't know that I got enough overflow spray on this one, but let's give it a whirl. Let's get it with water. Can I stamp with it? No, it's, it hasn't even activated. There's barely any there. All right, so that is the pointy branches. I also have um, a couple of other branchy sort of ones. I've got the scattered branches, uh, and I also have the uh, branching out stencil, which they're also both hand-drawn designs that I have created. All righty, let's have a play with this one. So this is one of the Paper Rose stencils. Paper Rose have, as you know, are also an Australian company. They are an Adelaide company. And I worked alongside Paper Rose for quite a few years, helping them with their designs and, and their marketing, etc. So, sorry, drink break. I'm going to do this stencil on a couple of different backgrounds. So this one is called the Big Drops, and I'm going to do it on an angle this time. So when I'm stenciling it, I'm stenciling, uh, sorry, taping it down. I've got a little bit of the tag there. And I think this time I'm going to use, let's play with these neons. So these guys came in and they are just amazing. I did a live Facebook maybe last week or the week before where I used the brand new Pink Fresh layering stamp with the matching die and the matching stencil so you'll be able to go back and watch that um and i i absolutely love it so this is using the layering stencils from pink fresh so in the background i used the layering stamp sorry the layering stencil that does the stars so we did the fluoro yellow then the fluoro pink then the fluoro blue and then we did the butterfly. So the butterfly is fantastic because you, the, the, stamp, the stencils, actually I will use the stencil. I'll show you how to use the stencil later. But the stencil's super easy because it gives you numbers and shows you how to layer up your colours. So I'll do that one shortly. But they're an excellent buy as well if you love butterflies. Okay, so this time I'm going to use... 
what am I going to use? I'm going to use just the standard blending tool, okay? So I'm going to need a couple because I've got a couple of different colours going here. So I'm going to get my lids off ready to go. Let's get my oxides out the way. Good morning to everyone who has just tuned in. I'm having a bit of a play today with various inks, stencils and blending tools. So you can see, look at that bright yellow. I've gone super juicy and given it a really red hot ink. And I'm just using a round circular motion with my stencil and that is fluoro to the max. Now I'm just wiping any excess off because I'm just going to go straight in with my pink with the same blending tool because I'm lazy. Woohoo! Right. And again, I'm doing this little flicking thing and I'm going straight through the middle, building up my colour as I go. So where I've got the blend between the yellow and the hot pink, I'm just kind of shadowing it up, pushing it up like that so that it, it's not so harsh. It's not such a harsh line. So I'll do the same thing and shadow that down into where the blue is going to go. So there's actually six colours in these neons and they are all equally vibrant there is also an orange a purple and a green oh that blue is gorgeous so i'll do the same thing just whoops push up into the pink So that it's not a, a full line. Now, because I put my stencil on a bit of an angle here, I've missed a bit down here. So I'm going to just see if I can take it. Oh, that looks great. And just find that little image. Whoops, someone's sending me messages. Let me just take that off my screen because I can't see your messages. All right. Yeah, I know. It's a little on the bright side there, Karen. Karen's just commented saying, whoa, she's going to have to go and get her sunglasses. Uh, so I'm just going to pop a little down there. All right. And that will do just fine. So I'm going to bring that up to camera. But those fluoros are just amazing. I do love those. Oh, bless you, Louise. Let me see that. Cool. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to get my piece of paper towel underneath and I'm going to grab another tag and I'm going to stamp with it. So I'm just off screen, just spraying it with my, with my water spray so that it is a liquid again and I'm just going to put my hand down on it and see if I can get any ink transfer. Ooh, it's super soft, but it's there because it's a different sort of ink. So it's not a, it's a pigment ink, so it's not a water-based ink, so it doesn't quite go there. So that's gonna dry out really, really nice and light. And it's stained the stencil. So how do you get your stencils clean? Well, let me tell you what not to do. Don't put them in the dishwasher, which is what my Lovely Louise suggested that we do. They don't go in the dishwasher, guys. Um, don't go in the dishwasher, do they, Louise? Well, you haven't tried yet. I have. Well, no, I haven't tried. We could take but an I old think stencil home and try. We could take an old stencil home. I just don't think it's going to work, babe. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do it on some book paper, okay? I'm going to use a different tool this time because I just dropped that one on the ground. Um, I'm just going to use a blending tool and I'm going to use Mermaid Lagoon
and actually no I'm not I'm gonna use forest moss which is one of my favorite greens black soot and chipped sapphire okay and I'm gonna do it on this book paper so what I do love about book paper is that it is quite a universal it's, it's very, very easy to use. So I'm going to start off with the chipped sapphire. And I'm just holding it with my hand this time. And so by doing it on book paper, you know, you can create a bit of a collage -y sort of paper that you could add to an art journal page. You're creating something that you could use for a something a little bit more vintagey I could use I've got some other stencils just off screen here that I'm going to have a bit of a play with in a minute but there's um and you know you could do put something really really awesome this is forest moss this green is just it's a gorgeous gorgeous olive green really really pretty And one of those colours that everyone needs in their collection. I do know that the lovely Vicky Bouton is a fan of this colour. She uses it a lot. Um, and then black soot, I'm going to put down the bottom here. Now, am I going to get any connection? Let's have a look here. Take a second. Turn it. No, I'm not going to get any connection, but what I am going to get is I can get a little bit of overflow, over overlap. So black soot, which is really lovely, starting at the bottom here. There we go. So it looks fantastic on book paper as well. Looks really, really good. So you could cut that out and pop that aside. Now let's give this a spray with water because there's all that gorgeous colour sitting on the stencil. So I'm just doing that off screen and I'm just going to pop that in my little craft art journal. And now that's just sitting there. I'm just going to awkwardly grab this piece of paper towel and just give it a little bit of pressure. Put it on there for a jiffy. Oh, I'm loving that. That's so nice on that book paper. How good's that um, forest moss? That green is just gorgeous. Good morning, Annalise. How was Pilates this morning, love? Oh, see? How good does that look? I've got the base of one of, my, of an art journal page coming along. That looks fantastic once that dries up. I just found on a corner here, do you see here where I use the uh, pinwheel flowers with a couple of different colours? Okay, must have been cleaning off a, off a stencil. Oh, has you know, um, Dilusions have, um, Linda's just commented uh, about a recent release that came out. Dilusions, uh, Diane Reevely has just released a, a whole range of um, stencils. And she's also included in her range a, a beehive one. Uh, uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I released mine before she did. And I didn't even know that she was releasing anything. So it just shows you that great minds think alike, don't they? Um, <laughs> the, uh, and Dina Wakely uh, released a new product range overnight as well. So everybody's releasing new things at the moment. All right. So there's those couple of little guys there. What else have I got to play with here? I've got the wreath. This is the overlapping leafy wreath from Pink Fresh. 
So this is a set of, let me get these guys out of the way here because I'm making a bit of a mess and I don't want to lose all my ink pads onto the floor. Um, I'm going to dump that in some water so that I don't accidentally pick it up and use it. And then the other one I have that I picked up off the floor, I'll do that. And then that one I've used already, I'll dump that in some water. Right, this time I might use these little blending tools from uh, Altenew just to show you how they work. So the overlapping wreath stencils. I've had a bit of a play with these before. Um, Dana, I'll have to look into that. I haven't seen that release yet. I uh, don't quite know what you're talking about, but that's okay. Um, okay, these have got numbers at the very top here. This one says stencil one, stencil two. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Stencil three and stencil four. So they are almost idiot proof, but they are all numbered there. So that's a really good start. Will this fit on my tag? Nope. But it will fit in my little journal. Wait a sec, guys. Just grabbing a piece of paper. Voila. Okay. So now I've got a, this is actually a piece of watercolour paper. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Um, and I'm going to have a play with this set. Now this is the new Catherine Pooler ink set. It's really pretty, like seriously pretty. Um, this is the Life of the Party collection. This is the Carnivale collection. This is the Zen Garden collection, and this one is Urban Oasis. And I did have my little colour chart floating around here somewhere, and I seem to have lost it already, which is, you know, let's be honest, no great shock to anyone. So there's some great inks available with those. Uh, so I'm going to build up some colour. And I'm going to, because it's four stencils, I'm going to use Lime Rickety, Aquatini, Something Borrowed with 30 Flirty Fuchsia. So the really cool thing is here is they've got some great ideas in the bottom here that they are water reactive. They work great with embossing powders. Oh, I've just found the colour chart. Um, and they're really easy to use. So this is the Life of the Party collection which these are the colours in here. And then we've also got some of the other, they do these great little swatches, Urban Oasis, which is super cute. Um, of Zen Garden, which is really lovely. They're softer colours. Um, so yeah, there you go. It, colour, colour easy, water reactive, um, easy blending. I'm all up for that. Okay. So the other thing that these guys have got, they've got this little mark on the corner which tells you so you can line it up in the same place every single time. So what I'm going to do, I've got a little mark here that I've given myself and I'm going to start my layering. So let's start here with the uh, Lime Rickety. Woo -hoo! Look at that, juicy. Check that baby out. Fabulous. Okay, now we're going to put uh, apple aquatini on. So I'm just going to clean my brush a little. I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to take the excess ink off on my paper towel. Put the lid on that.
and stencil number two will go on next. So I'm lining mine up with the top of my paper and there's a little guide on there. Except for the fact that I think I just had it on my hand. Oh no, there we go. Oh, this color. Oh, this color is everything. Christmas wreaths, Christmas wreath. <laughs> Fabulous. All right, let's pop that aside. Um, now I'm going to use, I'm going to leave the, I might just change my tool up a little here. So I'm going to use the blending tool. So this one is called something borrowed. Wow, they are awesome colours. Holy moly. So Pinkfresh has actually got a fantastic range of these layering stencils. We've got quite a variety in stock at the moment. Uh, and I think that I'm a little bit in love with them. Can you see that? Yeah. And now I'm going to pop that purple on last. Oh, this is the leaves. Didn't think that through, did I? Oh, well, we've got purple leaves. Oh, this purple is just, it's actually really nice. Don't tell anyone I said that. So if you want to do Christmas cards and do a gorgeous wreath, this could be almost berries. You could do this in red. All right, Linda, stop messaging me, babe. There you go. Okay, here we go. Let me bring that up to camera. Yeah. Oh. I know. It's a bit nice. So think of it this way. You just pop a sentiment in the middle and voila, you're done. Simple. Um, and these will just wipe off clean with a baby wipe. So that's really, really gorgeous. And those um, Catherine Pooler inks are absolutely lovely. Let's do a little swatch of those while I've um, while I've got you. So we've got lime. That's not going to be big enough. Lime rickety. <gasps> oh. Aquatini. Oh. Don't mind me. They're quite rich, aren't they? They are super juicy. They are so... Whoops, what was I doing there? Um, super juicy. Flirty fuchsia. Yeah, it's not really a purple. No. Oh, it's drying up a purple. That is party dress. That's nice. Followed by... Tutti Fruity. Oh, look at that. Now, these are swiping like really, really juicy. They've got a really soft ink pad. I have never used an ink like this before. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay. Lovely. I love them. So that is the life of the party set. We also have in stock the Zen Garden, which is a softer, oh, it's got a little bit more depth to it, I think. They are just lovely. Urban Oasis, we've also got that. And Carnivale, 
which is brighter than these. So that is mind-blowing color. So you can emboss with them, you can stamp with them, you can ink with them, you can blend with them, you can, they're water activated so that you still have time to add, um, you know, I can flick on some water with them as well. So they're a great product. Um, most impressed with them. Love them. All right, moving on. I want to do quarter past 11. Okay, a couple of other stencils that I have got in stock are these guys here from Prima. As most of you know, Prima have been around for a really, really long time. They have been in the industry and for, for as long as I have. Um, they've gone from flowers through to papers. So they've done some mixed media products. Finnebar has some fantastic designs and this is part of her latest collection. So this is the, these are six by nine stencils and these are really, really pretty. I want all of these. So this one is called Machinery and this has got this incredible pattern on the back. Um, really great for masculine projects. This is possibly my favorite book of numbers and it's got this ledger style to it as well. Um, so that is, this will be amazing for art journalists. And this is called Documented. So um, it does show you here, where are we here? what it looks like so it um it looks pretty great and then we've got two scripty ones so this is like that old french script this one's super fine not I, I suspect this one would not look great with paint or um like a modeling paste whereas this one would but this one will be great with blending brushes so i'm not going to crack one open as tempted as i am but what i am going to do is i want to play with this so this is the Altenude, Altenude Layered Dahlia Stencil. I love this with all of my essence. Um, and this is a two layered stencil. So stencil number one and then stencil number two. So let me show you how to use it. Actually, it has instructions. It's an A and a B. It's an a and a B. It, um, and this one comes also with this one by itself. So don't forget these are 15% off today. So it shows you on the back how to do it. You do number one, then you do number two. Wow, you do number ones and then you do number twos. And this is, um, the, so the two set is normally $28, comes down to $22.95. And stencil A by itself, which is this one, is $16, comes down to $13.60. So I'm going to use stencil A first and I'm going to do it in the front page of my journal, my craft journal. Because I'm using my craft journal, I probably want to be using something a little darker. So let's have a look here and I'm going to go with aged mahogany. I'm going to go with aged mahogany and I want to pop, I just want to tape this down so that it does not move. Because I don't want it to accidentally move. So you could use, like washi tape is the perfect perfect thing for this because it's a low tack. It's a low tack tape that will peel off. All right, so now I'm gonna use the domed blending tools to do this one and I'm going to start off here with aged mahogany. So this is stencil A. So this one is available to purchase by itself. Now I can do this in lots of different colors but I'm just going to crack it on here like this and I'm, I'm going around in circles but here where it's a little bit thinner stencil, I'm just being a little bit more careful. So while I'm doing this, um, don't forget we have the no judgment postage available. I did a post yesterday explaining what the no judgment postage was all about. So for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, what it means is that we 
we encourage you to add to your orders because I'm going to have a new special tomorrow, guys. I'm going to have something fantastic and new. So um, today we've got 15% off stamps and stencils plus dies and Christmas, but tomorrow might be something different. So you pay $12.50 postage for your first order and then all orders after that at the checkout, just select no judgment and what that means is that you won't have to pay postage twice. Now, if this, for whatever reason you do pay postage more than one time, what we will do is we will just flick you an invoice on Monday when it comes to posting it out and we will make that magic happen for you. We will be posting our orders on uh, during the week, so they will be posted on uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. If you are local and you live here in Adelaide, your order will be ready to collect at the Super Studio uh, between 10 and 3 from Thursday. So I'm just... Oh, look at that. That's a bit pretty. And I'm just going to take my tape here. So I've still got all that ink on here. So I'm going to spray that off camera and then I'm going to transfer it onto some book paper. I'm using that ink. I'm using my ink in lots of different ways. Using my stencils in lots of different ways. Lining that up at the top. And I'm just going to push that down with my paper towel and pop it aside while I do the next one. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly heat set that because I wanna put another color over the top. So I want to make sure that this is totally dry and it's not gonna smudge at all, okay? Drink break. I can't believe how nice they've dried up. I just wanna use those on everything. I didn't expect them to be that freaking amazing. Look at me. Hmm. All right. So now that that's dry, I'm going to put the second stencil over the top. So you can see what's happening. It's going to create a shadow. So I'm going to tape it down. And I'm going to tape it down over here. This would be so beautiful in pinks and reds. I don't quite know why I didn't do that. So I'm going to go black soot. I'm just going to commit to some, some depth here and do it. And I'm using the domed blending tool again. Okay. So what I like about the domed one is it's getting into all of those little areas. So how's everybody's day going where you are while I'm doing this? I hope you are all well. It is a lovely day here in Adelaide. Loving it. Some of you have sent me messages in the last 15 or so minutes. Um, I will be getting back to you as soon as I have a couple of moments up my sleeve. Um, so please be a little patient. But these layering stencils are so easy, especially because they've got the numbers on them. And of course, because this, these are Distress Oxides, they are super lovely and juicy as well. So I'm just getting down here into these little spots. So for cards, they're perfect. Layering stencils are excellent for cards. Um, they are fantastic for doing on scrapbook pages and art journal pages. You're, you can do whatever you like. You're only limited by your own head. Goodness me, girls. Um, speaking of which, if any of you are interested in art journaling, most of you know I have released a brand new class which is all about art journaling, what it's all about, how to do it, the ins and outs of it, okay? 
All right, let's peel that baby up as well. Pretty. All right, hang on. Let me just make the most of this and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to spray it with water and put it over the top of this one. Oh, what is that? It's because I've got so much stuff on my desk here. Now I'm working in reverse, so this isn't. Oh no, there we go. All right, let me bring this up to, to camera because holy moly, look at that. And that's not a craft background. So can you imagine that would be just so nice with um, on a white, on a card front. That's just awesome. That's absolutely blown my mind. So I'm going to dry that off. So you can see how easy those layering stencils are. Just a little bit of tape to tape it down. Use some of that washi tape you've been hoarding because seriously, girls, you know. And I've just done a quick and easy art journal page. Oh, that's just so nice. So that is the, um, I don't, can't remember what it's called, Dahlia, we said. Yeah, super pretty. Right, there you go. So the butterfly does exactly the same thing. So the butterfly... I'll show you the butterfly. Have I got have I got time for the butterfly? Let's peel that off. Ah, that didn't work as well. You know, can't nail it every time. Um, Alice has just commented saying, you don't realise what these products do until you show us. Thank you. And that's what I'm here for, babe. That's the whole idea. You've a lot of you have purchased these things but you have got no idea how to actually use them. So, you know, if we, if we do, when we go back to doing um, in-person craft shows, you know, or you go into a real store, you just have to ask the question, well, how does this work? What is the, how do I do, how do I use this? Um, I don't even mind if you flick me a message saying, Natalie, I saw that you've got these um, stencils on Facebook. Can you quickly show me and do me do a quick demo? Hey, what am I going to say? No, I haven't got time or, or yeah, sure. If I've got a couple of minutes, let's book in and make an appointment to do a little, uh, a little demo session. I don't mind at all. But you've just got to put it out there and ask the question, okay? So I'm going to use the layered butterfly now. And again... These have got numbers on them. So this is stencil number four. Let's not use that one first. Stencil number one. Let's put them in order, hey? Stencil number three. Stencil number two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do this properly and let's use these babies because woohoo, mind blown. Right. Stencil number one. Well, that's not going to be big enough, is it? Bugger. I don't want to do it on craft. I want to show you on white. Has anyone else got somewhere else they need to be? Because I'm, I'm just loving this. I know I should be packing all your orders, but um, I'm sure Lou's coping just fine. You coping, Lou? No. She's good? There you go. See? Look at that. Okay. So this is the same concept as this gorgeous Dahlia. Look at that. Yeah, it's nice. How, how lovely. I just want to have another moment with that. Shut the page, move on. Okay. <laughs> so 
So let's use the Pink Fresh Butterfly. So this is on an off cut of marshmallow cardstock and I'm going to use the top of my page here as my guide for lining up, okay? So let's choose the colors and I've got this here in front of me. So I'm gonna start with party dress. Oh. Looks like fudge. It does look like fudge and it feels a bit fudgy, mm. if that's a thing. I just want to open all the other colours now. So you can actually purchase, with this particular butterfly set, you can actually purchase uh, the matching stamp and the matching die as well. And we have, I do believe we have those available in stock. I'm not going to give it up give my personal one up because I damn well love it. So stencil number two, I'm going to line up here and you can see what's happening. Stencil number two, let's go with Tiki Torch. Oh. Oh, sorry, Peanut, I can't concentrate. Check the order, I've messed them up. What? Okay, I will. I'm glad someone's paying attention to what I'm doing. So I did number one, and that is number two. I did this the other day too, Linda, and I reckon you helped me out there. Stencil number three is this one. It says number three on it, babe. Okay, lining it up in that top corner. So this is gonna do the detail. And I'm going to go with shit fizz. Look how juicy that is. I just dropped that on the top. Quickly, just going to baby wipe it off. This is definitely number three, it says on that one, right. So I'm layering colour over colour. So I'm going to get a really deep, deep colour here. So you can see how versatile stencils can be. They are not scary, okay? They don't have to be scary. Ooh, pretty. Put the lid back on, because we saw how juicy that was. This one is stencil number four. Lining it up. Do I go blue or do I go tutti fruity? I'm going to have to go tutti fruity. Pretty away. And then the last one, 
Stencil number five is going to do the tips. Oh, shoot, that one's got purple on it too. So I'm just going to... I'm just using what's on my, um, my tool. I'm not even going to do a new one. A new application of ink. Dana. So there you go. So from here, those colours look amazing. Um, so you can also get the matching stamp set. So I could stamp over the top of that using my stamp press, and that's what I would do, line it up with my stamp press. And then the matching die is also available as well. Now, in saying that, this is what it look, looks like as that finished product with the stamp and the die, and then I used a layering stencil in the back, all right? So they can look really, really great. So you don't necessarily have to have the um, stamp over the top. You could leave it like that and you could just hand draw those bits. But off camera, what I'm gonna do in a moment is I'm going to stamp that and then I'm gonna take a photo to show you how it looks as a finished piece. So just to recap some of the things that we have had a play with today, um, Friday is 15% off stamps and stencils and dies and Christmas. So we've had a play with distress oxides with stencils on stamps on some <laughs> stencils. Stencils on book paper. We had a play with the paper rose stencil with the Hero Arts neon ink pads on the tags. We used the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils to create different patterns and different graduations of colour. This is one of the Natalie May scrapbooking. This is the starred one. I love this on boys' papers. It looks so good. Um, that's Distress Oxides, two colours. I cracked open the new Catherine Paula inks, which is, uh, and swatched them because, like, seriously, they are so nice. And then I have just used them here to create that lovely butterfly. And I'll stamp that off camera in a moment to show you how that looks. I also had a play with the... God, I've achieved a lot this morning. Um, this is the Pink Fresh Layering Stencil. This would be amazing in shades of green for your Christmas cards, girls. Love that. Uh, and down here on... Oh, we did the art journal pages. That, that blows my mind at how good that looks. Um, and then I also stamped with my stencils on craft. So there's lots of really awesome things that you can do with stencils and different tools. So you just have to have a play. Do this whole, I wonder what would happen if. I'm not wasting any of this stuff. This will all be put onto cards or go with thank you notes with my orders. Um, so there's plenty of um, plenty of options here. So just going through that, here's this. Oh, look at that pretty girl there. 15% uh, off Christmas things, Friday, Saturday and Sunday only on nataliemay.com.au. Stamps and stencils and dies are 15% off today. Now, not every single stamp is on special. There's a couple that are excluded. Um, but the but they're already at awesome prices and I did sh also show everyone this morning there is a fantastic range of products in the show specials and the show bundles as well I haven't even spoken about the bundles today but my god um Valerie Val's just commented saying where can I see Dina's new products please just have a look up on her Facebook page she has done a post showing all of them and you will then need to send me an email if you want to order. Please do not send me a private message. So this, if you want to pre-order any, um, any Dina products or any Art by Marlene products, okay? Uh, because, or if you want to order anything in particular, simply because my my Facebook messages, they disappear. Um, so just to give you a bit of an example, while I've been sitting here doing this live for the last hour, I have got 14 Facebook messages come through. So I don't want to read the message and get it lost and then disappoint you all. 
So there you go, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I will be back, oh my goodness me, in an hour. So wash your hands, kiss your kids, uh, wear a mask, and I'll chat soon.